Well, hey guys, ladies, gents, and llamas. I am back again for take two of the Going Gear EDC Club because of uh, because of ridiculous errors in, re in filming and ed editing. So take two. So here we are. So let's see if I can get the cool energy I had going the first time. So we've got Going Gear. One of my favorite, most excited to wait for and get it subscriptions of the month. Um, we, you know, some people had asked me why I hadn't, why I hadn't done Going Gear yet, and it turns out there was a mistake in shipping. It went to my old address, which is weird, because they have been sending it to this new one. So I gave them a call, and uh, not only do they have a great product, they've got fantastic customer service. They didn't try to blame it on anything. They didn't try to make an excuse. They said, oh my God, our bad, that was so stupid. We'll make sure it doesn't happen again. And we're really sorry that happened to you. Like, awesome. You can't ask for a better answer than our bad. We'll make sure it doesn't happen again. That's why I love this company and I love what they've got. So with the Going Gear EDC Club, remember we're gonna switch to a more EDC mindset, um, you know, away from the normal kind of survival outdoorsy kind of boxes that we normally look at and that's fine that's very happy because there are plenty there are tons of stuff from the edc club that i do end up carrying that i edc literally every day everyday carry it's what it stands for in case somebody didn't know so we've got the premium which is kind of their higher level there's a standard and a premium and we're going to look at everything and uh there will be no surprises this time. I already know everything's in the box, but it's an interesting box. So we'll go kind of in the same order that, that it came on the paper here. And we'll start with this Ace Beam H16 headlamp, which uh, I originally, I, I did really, I really liked. So uh, it comes in the box with the clip on it and not in the headlamp holder. It has a deep carry, double-sided clip so you know you can whether you like to have the um, you know it light exposed in your pocket light up or light down tip up tip down however you want to whatever you want to call it but it's really cool on this since it's 90 degree angled with this clip you can have it like on a belt or you can have it in a shirt pocket and it automatically shines the light where you want it to go it reminds me of the old army issue I don't know if they still issue them anymore but you know, I'm old, so the, the plastic OD green takes two D-cell batteries, you know, much bigger, bulkier, and doesn't give off as much light. This thing's got a thousand lumens in it. So you can't have the clip and have it in the in the uh, headband at the same time. Headband is pretty comfortable. It's got this rubber band part in it to help really hold it secure on your head. Um, this is nice, soft rubber. It's really, you know, it's, it's really, you know, it's it's not the best, it's not the worst. It's kind of middle of the road in terms of the headband, but it is it is not uncomfortable. It's not super comfortable, it's not uncomfortable. Um, and this does rotate a little bit. Um, you gotta slip it into the, the rubber here, and that takes a, a minute or two to get it in there all nice and neat, but once you get it in there, it does rotate up and down, okay? I'm gonna take it out so that we can look at it, and taking it out, is as much a there it's a lot easier to get it out than it was to get it in there so you've got a rechargeable battery that comes with it and it comes with the USB-C cable to charge it you have to take the battery out I mean we like the convenience of being able to charge externally but whatever so you click three times oh well, I didn't know this before. This gets you to an SOS. Wow, see? So click twice and the light is on. I guess once it's on, you click twice and that brings you to your turbo mode. There you go, that's your thousand lumens. If you hold the button down, that's gonna cycle you through your high, medium, low. And then hold the button down and you get your very low mode. It's just a convenient little EDC light. I mean, the thousand lumens on turbo, it's got a little timer on it, of course, so it doesn't overheat or whatever, but 58 hours on low light mode, um, very lightweight. It's a nice light, and I love what Ace Beam makes uh, in this very subscription. 
I got my favorite light that I carry all the time, the Ace Beam um, E70. It's a, it's a heavier, bigger light, but I love it, and it's so reliable and gives you so much light. It's awesome. So this was cool. Okay. Next was the Slice, which is this guy, which I'll tell you up front, I did not like when I when I the first go around. So it is an interesting idea. It's it's all aluminum here and nice colors and decent fit and finish. It's got a spring-loaded little flipper. And what you've got is this removable, replaceable ceramic utility blade. But here's where it starts to go downhill a little bit. And I had mentioned in the first time around, this is the first time I really just didn't like something from EDC Club. I mean, I really don't. So number one, you have these proprietary ceramic utility blades that you can only get from the company and you have to replace them with this thing. I understand they were going for a certain safety factor. This is not sharp. And if you've ever tried to sharpen ceramic, it's a hassle. You need special, you need specific materials, you need specific um, techniques. It does not have a pointy point on the end. But again, you know, they did that on purpose for safety functions. So basically what you have is a, a glorified box cutter here. I mean, that's all it is. And I'll list, look. I'll... I'm not trying to mess it up because this is part of the reason that I didn't like it the first time around. It doesn't do it. Now, if you put it down on the ground, it will cut. Like I said, it's a box cutter. It's, you know, it's not for like the kinds of stuff that we would carry a regular knife around with. Uh, so ceramic holds an edge better than steel. The problem is ceramic is brittle, so it's prone to chipping more often if you don't use it properly. I don't know how much of the replacement blades are. They give you two different options um, on the knife. I don't know what the difference is, honestly. I've I mean, I've never seen this, um, but it, it is, they say safer than traditional blades because it's not sharp. I mean, I guess, but if you need a box cutter, if you need to open packages, this could be a thing for you. It's got a little liner lock. It's got a strong spring, but you can one hand it. And it is relatively small. I mean, much smaller than a traditional box cutter, but it's just not something that I would carry. And like I said, it's, I mean, this is the first thing from going gear that I just really didn't like. However, I did say that I am still planning an end of summer into fall, um, you know, uh, giveaway. So if this is something that would appeal to some of you guys, let me know. Um, we had the the strap, and even trying to cut through the strap, it took where a traditional, you know, box cutter with a utility knife blade would would just go through this. But again, just because I don't find good use for it doesn't mean someone else might not. So. If, you, if, if this looks attractive to somebody, let me know if you'd like this to be in a giveaway. So there's that's the second item. So the prices, and all these prices come from the Going Gear website, by the way. $39.99 for the light, $29.99 for the slice. Next, we've got the Shomer Tech Bare Minimum Lock Pick Set. So you've got in here a feeler pick, a rake pick, and a tension tool. All I know about lock picking, I learned from Fallout. So basically that means that a bobby pin and a screwdriver is all you need to pick any lock anytime, anywhere. I really should get more into lock picking. Um, these are very small and flexible, very lightweight. They say that this came from an overrun on a military contract. Yeah, a recent overrun on a military contract. Okay. Um, I, I really, I know I should probably know more about this, but I don't. Um, I've gotten in other boxes, if you remember, we've gotten like the, the sets with the little clear locks and you can, some tools, and you can, Aiden loved it. Aiden has messed with it and he really enjoys playing with those sets. I don't know how effective this is. Uh, EDC lock picking, I don't know, is it an EDC skill? Maybe it is, maybe it's not, maybe that's survival. Maybe it's one of those things that bridges the gap and is both. This is a, what, a $12, $13 item? You guys tell me. There's a lot of people out there that absolutely know more about lock picking than me. I know that just carrying this in some states would be illegal. So, yeah. 
Next item is the Noso X patch. Now these things, I have used this product before and I actually just recently wish I had this. Um, this is a cool pattern, by the way, this, this little topo pattern. Um, I had an old desert camo, you know, three color desert, uh, lightweight Gore-Tex jacket that got a rip in it. And this would be the perfect thing to fix that. You don't have to sew these on. They've got an incredibly adhesive backing. This, this um, shape is designed to go on and it's very flexible. It's not just a square, it, these, these ends let it flex around. But this is waterproof, it's washable. Um, you can put it on and it, it, has, it feels very rugged. It, it has, it, it's not just a piece of plastic. Um, so these patches, I think we got these battle box once upon a time and I was kind of like, eh, what am I gonna do with these? But like so many things, I'm like, eh, what am I gonna do with these? I actually used one. And while the, the pattern doesn't necessarily match, I'd rather have a usable item with a patch that doesn't match than, you know, have a hole in a Gore-Tex that then the Gore-Tex doesn't work and it gets wet. So this is 10.99. Um, this is definitely something I'll bank away for a rainy day, literally. This works on, on clothing, on tents, on all kinds of gear. It's pretty good. Then finally, the premium item was not on this piece of paper, but that's fine because it is one hell of an awesome knife. Now, Going Gear often puts in the premium um, Ace Knives by Giant Mouse. These are great knives. They are made in Italy. Um, so this is the grand green canvas micarta with an M390 blade. Now, if you take a look here, in the last video, I did some oiling of the micarta. So you see that light area? That's what how it came. I said, that looks gray, not OD green. So I just did some mineral oil on it and it looks gorgeous now. This is probably the biggest ace we've we've gotten in in a EDC club box. Oh, I got some oil on the blade now. M390, of course, fantastic steel, great steel. Uh, I don't need to go into detail on how good M390 is. Their micarta is always really well done and even oiled up, it's very grippy. Great size, I think, for EDC. Some people might think it's a little big for EDC. I disagree, I think this is a great size. Um, and uh, the the Giant Mouse Ace uh, Corda, which we, we got in another one of these EDC Club boxes. You guys have seen on the channel multiple times. I carry it all the time. It's a great EDC blade, it really is. Um, and this one, I love the blade shape. The thickness to the size is amazing. The weight on this feels great. The ergonomics are great. The only the only issue I had with it was right here. There's kind of a hard edge there, but you could take care of that if you wanted to really easy. Just round it off with a little bit of sandpaper, real light, and it would be no problem. It's got some really interesting jimping farther down on the blade, which could really hold your thumb really well, or you could lay your index finger on there. It's interesting that it doesn't have it closer where your thumb naturally sits, but full metal backspacer um, and lanyard hole. Now, of course, all the prices that they normally list are from their website. So I had, but this wasn't on the paper, so I had to go looking. And Blade HQ is, is normally a really reasonably reasonably priced place to, to comparison shop for knives. Even Blade HQ has this thing listed for $225. So literally this covers the entire price of the subscription and then some uh, right here. And then, you know, the price of everything else. That's why I always say that this box is some of the best money spent every month. Um, it's just a great subscription. It being focused on EDC means it's stuff that, if, you know, some of the stuff, yeah. So this we're gonna put away, you know, the lock picking, whatever. But a lot of the stuff that comes in this box is stuff you could literally use and carry every day. That's not to say we don't get some of that stuff in some of the other boxes, but let's face it. Some of the more outdoors survival related boxes really are meant for you to put that stuff away and use in an outdoors survival kind of situation, you know, or camping or, or whatever. This is literally the EDC box. This is stuff that you will carry around and use all the time for the most part. Um, obviously these, this, maybe not this. I mean, it in the right circumstance, you could, this could be part of your EDC line. Absolutely. This with the uh, clip on it, going back on. This doesn't have to be a headlight. This could just be in your pocket. 
and you could use this around whatever. I love this box. That's why there's always a link to Going Gear in the video description. They're great customer service, great items. The subscription is awesome. The stuff they have on their website is awesome. Their prices aren't bad either. So, um, you know what? I didn't show you how well this did right out of the box. I mean, it's super smooth. I can't even tell you, but it's giant mouse, so I'm not surprised. And like no effort whatsoever. And it just, it just rips right through it. And then having trouble perfecting this with the nylon strap. It's a little different than just peeling P-cord, but it's uh, perfect right out of the box. I love it. This, this knife is the box. And then everything else is like gravy on top. I love this knife. I, I would, I would spend the two twenty five on another one. Um, they come in different color. My card is and everything, but this is so comfortable. And this is going to be in my pocket days at a time. Fantastic, Ben. So there we go. Take two and a little bit abbreviated because all of my brilliant commentary on just discovering stuff is lost to the edit gods. But there's the box. So. Uh, I hope some of you guys who might be new here think about subscribing to our stuff. Uh, you know, hitting the like button and commenting and sharing and joining in the fun. Um, but what's more important is, what do you guys think of this month's box? I know it was a little later than than you were hoping for. Other people already kind of have theirs up, but their videos up. But you know, we got it. So that's really all that matters. They will fix that error in the computer system. I'm not sure why it reverted to the old address, but it was forwarded by USPS just a little time. So I'd love to see your opinions on everything, especially this guy. Let me know what you think of it. Um, there might be some people out there who say, this is a great piece of gear and here's why, and I'd love to hear it. So thanks for spending a little time with me going over this stuff. Remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.